everyone. How's it going? Uh, we have some rumors for you today, some fresh rumors about a new Nintendo Direct. Uh, but before we get into those rumors, I gotta remind you that we are giving away a Switch OLED, and it's very, very easy to enter. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. That's it. I will be announcing the winner at some point in early October in a live stream, so I hope to see all of you guys there. Uh, but yes, here we go. I know, it's been a, what, gosh, four days, five days since the last video. Uh, yeah, well, I'm on vacation. So, you know what? You guys just get what you get. And today, what you get is a fresh rumor from Samus Hunter. That's right. We haven't talked about Samus Hunter in quite a long time, uh, but Samus Hunter has gotten a number of stuff correct before E3 and has now gotten a few things correct since E3 and, well, obviously the full gambit of rumors and stuff that has been put out by any leakers out there, um, you know, aren't 100% besides Practical Rush 12, which who I, I still, I don't know how that guy has 100% track record because even people that get legit information you know, companies change their minds and things change. But I guess Practical Rush 12 really waits until, like, the last possible moment to talk about stuff. So that's probably how he avoids issues. Anyways, Samus Hunter uh, put up some stuff about a potential Nintendo Direct. So, as always, this is a rumor. So put your tinfoil hats on or all that jazz. Um, so here is the initial tweets that she said on this. You got quite a few of them. Uh, it says, after teasing this in a couple of posts, I'm going to talk about it more clearly. Yes, there is a Nintendo Direct scheduled for September, around the time WarioWare launches. It is useless to make a list of games passing them off as certain, because, in fact, I still have nothing in hand because it's too early. But crossing some data, I can tell you some things that are very likely. Surely the focus game will be Metroid Dread, while Advance Wars and Mario Party will have sections dedicated to some new features. There's also some major updates planned. Uh, the aforementioned Animal Crossing, the reveal of the latest character in the Smash DLC with a new story for Hyrule Warriors. Third parties will also play an important role. Capcom has to reveal a Resident Evil for the Switch. If plans for Splatoon 3 don't change, marketing for the title should begin around that time. I doubt in, there'll be news about Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, other than a small notice that we'll see in a few months. As new announcements, uh, a Kirby project is very likely. To close a title developed by Nintendo, Monolith are at a very good point with their project, since a few months have finalized the cutscenes and in recent weeks have worked on much of the music. So the project is entering the final stages. Bayonetta 3, which I've already mentioned, should be in a similar situation. There are other titles well underway as well, but those are planned at a generic 2022 or later. I repeat, at the moment, the new announcements are my guesses from some of the data in my possession. It is too early at the moment to pass them off as confirmed for that particular presentation. In closing, however, I can tell you that Nintendo is also working on the next Indie World scheduled before that. I forgot to mention, I heard rumors on some news sites about a Microsoft collaboration for something. If something really happened, this would be the best occasion to talk about it. And then... Today, because she said that yesterday, then today, uh, early this morning, she said, wow, thanks for the support. I'm reading some opinions around the web like, well, it's obvious the direct is in September, but that really wasn't my point. The message I wanted to get across is that it will be the first and foremost a presentation dedicated to already announced titles and that possible new announcements will be in smaller quantities. In fact, I've been conservative in talking about the latter. As always, hype is nice, but right now the plans are to focus on titles for 2021 and early 2022. Lineup that we obviously know most of by now. I have been asked to talk about Pokemon as well, uh, but at the moment I have no news about periods for future announcements. In a couple of days I will talk about the month of August. So, that is the general rundown and gist from Samus Hunter. And I gotta say, uh, a direct in September isn't really too surprising. Uh, Nintendo traditionally has directs in September. Uh, it's a very common direct month. I think they've done it like seven of the last nine years. They've had a direct in September. Uh, so, it, you know, if anything, it's just a really, really safe bet. Uh, but yeah, it's clearly gonna obviously, you know, round out their titles for the holiday period. Uh, that's, you know, it's just something you need to do. Uh, and then, yeah, the you're getting into early 2022 the thing is we already know a lot of what would be at this direct we've already seen a lot of the games at this direct but almost every single nintendo direct not nintendo mini but nintendo direct 
has new game announcements. Not saying there'll be a lot of them. There usually isn't a lot of them in the September Direct, but there's usually something. What that is, I have no idea. Obviously, all of us want to see more Breath of the Wild 2. Not so sure that you're going to see that at this, because it would overshadow too much, I think. But still, just something to keep in the back of your minds. Uh, as for anything else to expect at this Direct, uh, if it is to happen, I don't know. I, I think what's weird is, what the heck's going on at the Pokemon Company? So, we obviously all expected, and there were lots of rumors, around a Pokemon presentation happening before E3. Didn't happen, and then we're like, oh, maybe they're going to show the games at E3. Didn't happen. Oh, maybe they're going to show the games after E3. Hasn't really happened. Like, Pokemon, the shining, you know, brilliant diamond and shining pearl that comes out this year. Yeah, they come out pretty soon, and we still aren't really seeing much new for those. What about Pokemon Legends Arceus? Comes out January 28th. Still haven't really seen much for that either. It's really weird. It's the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and the Pokemon company is just being quiet. The only thing I can think of to justify this, because normally uh, the Pokemon company is very forward with all this stuff, especially when they have such exact dates for things, is that maybe there's some development issues. Uh, got to remember that Japan has been massively impacted by the pandemic. Uh, they're actually really behind in getting people vaccinated. Obviously, we know about the new variants out there. We don't need to go down that whole um, health crisis situation. But it has factually, I think, been delaying some things at the Pokemon Company because uh, it's also been delaying some things at Nintendo. If you wonder why 2022 looks so packed with at least major games from Nintendo, like ones actually made by Nintendo companies, it's because it's taken them a long time to make games over the last year and a half. And uh, we'll see, you know, if, the, if, if an end for the pandemic uh, is even in sight for Japan. Obviously, uh, in the United States, I know they just, the CDC just recently changed their mandate for masks, even with unvaccinated people in closed areas. Not countrywide, but basically high dense populated areas. Um, it's funny, it changed while we were on vacation, so that's always great. Uh, but. Yeah, this is just a, a really interesting thing to keep in the back of your mind about a potential future Nintendo Direct. Uh, I don't really know what else to think about it, uh, but I do want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I don't know how many more videos are coming this week. Probably at least one more. I uh, just needed to, to make sure we didn't go a whole week without a video. That wouldn't have been uh, good for the old YouTube algorithm. Uh, but yeah, for those who want to know, hey, our vacation's going pretty well. Uh, we're, we're, how, how many days in are we having? Three, four? How many days into this are we? Uh, four. Four days in, yeah. And we leave on Friday. Yeah, we got here on Sunday, Monday. Yeah, four days. In. Yeah, this is this is our fourth day. This is our fourth day. So, yeah, it, it's going well. Uh, we Unfortunately, for those who didn't hear the bad news, we couldn't go on our cruise. That's what we wanted to be doing. We didn't get to do it. Can't even get refunds for it. Lame. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going on a cruise next year, which, yeah, that's exciting. But... That wasn't what we wanted to do this year, and ended up spending a lot more money than that wasn't going to get spent to come to Vegas instead. And it's nice here. It's just relaxing. It's also, you know, gambling's a bitch. All right, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.